better out than in, I always say. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, guys. It is I Cast Your Freaking Awesome Replays. And today we are going to be casting the best games from last week's challenge, which was Now You See Me, Now You Don't. Show me your best plays with invisible and cloaked units. Not sure which one of these players did submit the replay, but we've got a couple of good re good good games for uh ooh, good games to cast for you guys today. So hopefully we have a good bit of fun. Should work out quite well. And uh, fingers crossed everything uh, everything is good and happy. As I uh oh, that accidentally got clicked off. There we go, that can go there. There we go. No worries. Alright, so down here in the bottom left hand side in the green, representing non, it is Haku. Our Zerg player. Oh! Vormit here. Up here in the top right, in the purple, representing Taste the Bacon. Vormit just threw down a uh, GG spray on the ground there. Naughty, naughty Vormit. Of course, guys, if you want to get your replays in for next week, the challenge is one geyser to rule them all. You're only allowed to mine from a single Vespian geyser. Send submissions to eonblue95 uh, at gmail.com as attachment and just put only icy far as the title of the email. And uh, yeah, my dude, it's... um. It's actually really cool. So that's that's a favorite variation. I've done only allowed the, the two gases in your main. I've done only allowed one gas per base. I've done like a thousand different variations, which basically say you can't take a lot of gas. So they are some of the funnest games ever because you just you end up with these like super mineral heavy low tech armies running around, lots of counter attacks, lots of positioning becomes a lot of fun. But of course, that's for next week. Get your replays in for that if you can. Um, for you guys who do watch on YouTube, you might be like, wow, you've uploaded like 23 icy far VODs in the last couple of days. I was way behind on uploading the previous VOD, so I'm, apologies to people who are getting the topics late. If you're watching this, this one's actually been uploaded later in the day that it was actually played. So the, the challenge that I just mentioned is actually the current challenge. If you guys ever are unsure which challenge it is that you should be, uh, you know, kind of paying attention to and playing out, always just go to my Twitch chat, x5 underscore pig, so twitch.tv forward slash x5 underscore pig, and just type exclamation mark icy fire in the chat. It'll always pop up the current challenge. Send in your replays, doesn't matter if you're Bronze League, you've never played a ladder game, doesn't matter if you're GM or uh, Pro. We have actually had Fighting Frog, a GM random player, Send in some crazy replays in the last couple of weeks that have been some of the most fun to cast. Last week he pulled off a planetary fortress rush into a mass hellbat drop with some cyclones uh, in the prison fight icy far, but oh, oh, Zealot here. He's in a bit of trubs. All right, oh, oh. Okay, those Zerglings are like, all right, let's wait for more of us. So <clears throat> this is that one buff dude in the, buff dude in the gym. And here's a whole bunch of little dudes with knives, or maybe they're syringes actually. These are like little druggos, aren't they? They're like, well, you can destroy us in a fight, but you will get AIDS or hepatitis in the process. He's like, oh, fucking stop, stop stabbing me with your syringes, you little dickheads. Oh, finally does die there. Uh, AIDS and hepatitis infected as he was. Uh, here comes an adept vormant's like, all right, let's fucking uh, walk in here. Nah, just gonna stand here. Oh, I've got a big fucking gun. Look at that. I've got a big crest on my back as well, big golden crest, like a lizard. My face is kind of lizard shaped too. Yeah, I'm an adept. Adepts are pretty fucking badass, eh? Hey? All right, here we go. Adept's gonna fucking run in there. She's like, all right, take that drone, you, you fucking little dickhead. Damages another one, doesn't finish him. She's like, nah, let's teleport in the main base. Teleports in the main, and she's like, oh, I'm gonna kill all your drones. Oh, the drones get pissed off though, and they're like, no, fuck you, mate. They uh, surround her and uh, pincer her to death. If you, if you ever wonder what it's like to die to drones, guys, when you die to a drone surround, it's like 50 small children, each with a little set of pliers, and they all just kind of, they just do this to you. They just kind of like, eh, eh. <laughs> Eventually, like, it, it does hurt. It's just kind of like a shallow, shallow kind of cut slash pinch on each one. Eventually, you die to it. It's a very slow and painful way to, de de to die. Um, speaking of slow and painful, We've seen a Zerg go three hatch for four pools, so he's like, I'm a greedy douchebag. Hey, you know what? It, I, this is like this is like stockbroker Zerg. You know, he's just like, let's all fucking bet on the housing market, guys. Seen the housing will never fail. It'd be great. And this guy's like, mate, not again. You fucking stole my job and stole my home once. My mortgage got completely fucked. Now I'm gonna make Dark Templar and climb into your uh, big ass Wall Street building and murder you. So here comes the very first douche Templar. 
Now there is a spork ruler. No, there's no, oh, there's no spork ruler. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, Haku's in trouble, man. Haku's like, run, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of here. He's like, quick, send four drug addicts to try and fight the bunch of trained warriors. Yeah, that's gonna work out really well. Oh, one of them actually does go down. DT's running into the main, though. This DT's like, let me fucking at him. Let me fucking at him. Starts to stab these Dark Templars as hard as it can. This queen's like, oh, God. This is starting to get focused. Is the DT gonna be able to take it down? I don't know, man. That other zealot up there is still alive, by the way. He killed the rest of the drug addict zerglings. DT's like, ah, oh, fuck you, mate. Oh, the drones weren't fighting. And the spore goes down. Oh, Haku's like, ah, oh, where is he? I definitely can't see a blurry blob over here that's killing my guys. Definitely can't order the Zerg to just kind of stab the air in that general direction. Nope, nope, we can't see him. We can't see him. <laughs> We're gonna fucking lose all our shit, aren't we? A second Dark Templar walks in as well. This one's like, oh, I'm gonna hit the hatchery, yeah. Oh, the queen dies. There's blood all over this DT. You'd think you'd be able to see him just from the amount of blood covering their corpses, but no. Apparently, they had to wait for the spore crawler detection to get on down there. You'd think at a certain point there'd be enough chunks of dead drone on the Dark Templar that that alone would provide vision, but I guess not. And uh, here we go. It looks like Haku has managed to defend the main base. Haku, uh, definitely not a hack. Actually, uh, looking looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Oh, the DTs are going back in. Big, big dick DT drop. Um, or, or as most of us like to say, fucking broken warp prism pickup range drop. As uh, literally this is the most complained thing about in the first six months of Legacy of the Void. Um, I do miss those tears. You know, that's, that's the one sad thing about StarCraft. People do eventually adjust. They stop complaining about things which they used to never stop complaining about. And... It just really ruins my general entertainment in the community and in the game. So here we go, DT's running. They snipe down a spore crawler. There's no defense here. Oh, hack you, you greedy shithead. The Zerglings were all out on the map. And oh my god, that war prism is like, you know what? <laughs> Instant replay. Instant replay. Because that was so dumb. Oh, I love you, Vormant. I love you, but oh no. <laughs> They're like, we're in the heart of our opponent's economy. He's got no defense. He's totally fucked. <laughs> Get back in the warp prism. Like, but, but, sir, the warp prism is in red hit points and it's standing over a spore crawler. Get in the warp prism. Sir, but, but we could kill another 20 drones here. <laughs> Get in <laughs> the warp prism. <laughs> sir, I think you might be a fucking idiot. <laughs> Get in the warp prison. The DT's like, all right, you've ordered us third time in a row. We're going to do it. They hop in the warp prison. They all immediately fucking explode. And uh, the Zerg player says, oh, that was nice of you. Meanwhile, these DTs, they're going to take out the hatchery. These guys morph into an Archon just to try and waste a little bit of time with those Zerglings. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the giant suicide AoE ability from the, uh, from the mission. Uh, from the campaign video. But uh, here we go, Zealots. Oh, they get surrounded. What a bunch of idiots, man. They had like this nice little choke point. Bunch of, bunch of Jim Diddy zealots there, man, trying to hold the choke point against a bunch of angry Counter-Strike players. Don't know if you guys have ever heard the story of WCG Australia 2011. Whole bunch of enraged Counter-Strike players taking off their shirt and trying to fight one of our fellow StarCraft players. Fellow StarCraft player, quite intoxicated, saying, Bring it on, you cunts! I don't give a fuck, man. He was at the back of the bus. They were at the front of the bus. He, we're like, guys, we're like, man, can you stop trying to fucking fight these counter strafers? He's like, they're a bunch of fucking pussies. He's like, mate, look at them. They're so fucking, look at them. They're a bunch of fucking pussies, dude. I'll fight them. He's like, mate, mate, look, look at our surroundings. Look at the terrain. Gestures to the fact that there's seats on one side, seats on the other. There's an aisle down the middle. Jim Diddy says, mate, I've got two beer bottles. I can just, I can just smash these and use them like fucking warp blades. And I'm basically a zealot in a choke point. They can only come down the aisle of the bus one at a time. They're a bunch of fucking zerglings. One of the greatest analogies I've ever heard from a StarCraft player who was very close to getting bashed up by about 20 Counter-Strike players for insulting them repeatedly for the previous half hour. Uh, eventually did manage to calm down the Counter-Strike players while he kept on belligerently yelling at them and calling them pussies. Uh, one of my one of my more fun moments, the uh, good old days of esports, WCG 2011. Uh, <laughs> we we quoted that one for a while. We're like, and he's just like, man, I would have taken him. You guys, you guys should have let me fight them. We're just like, ah, uh. <laughs> uh, great, great times, great classic stories. 
Back to the game at hand, guys. I think I've figured out Vormant's strategy. It's to keep making Dark Templar and basically piss Haku off really fucking hard. And he's doing a pretty good job of it. I'm pretty proud. I mean, this is the now you see me, now you don't challenge. You're meant to use mostly invisible and burrowed units. Vormant's like, all right, I'll get double upgraded zealots. And, uh, you know, eventually I will transition. And that's, that's fair enough. You can't win with just DTs. Why not do it in a hilarious and incredible way with three Stargates? I'm down with that, Vormant. And, you know, he's actually got a pretty good eco. Does he have charge? Yeah, he's got charge. He can make a ton of zealots if he wants. He's uh, finally losing... Oh, no, no, he's warped in zealots and DTs to save the gateway up here. <laughs> Just mass charge DT on both sides. Like a boss, catches a couple of roaches. Oh, the mall security up against a bunch of uh, actually hardcore trained terrorist militia over here. They just get fucking killed, man. They were like, oh, pull out their little pea shooter and instantly get murdered. Uh, where's that other war prism at, man? Did it go down? Oh, shit, did it die in the, the bottom? I think it died down here, to, like the spore or the queen or something. I'm pretty sure there was another war prism. Anyways, oh, he's going to come and he's going to go for the hatch. Vormin has no chill. He is just, just, oh, he, he ferries the weakened units. He's trying to do some hot pickup micro. Um, but it's not that hot after all, is it? Because most of your shit died. He did make the hatchery bleed a little bit. He made the hatchery bleed, so we'll give him that one. And... <laughs> Alright, he's gonna back off for now. We've got... <laughs> Can you believe it, guys? He's making more DTs. I never would have seen that one coming. Thankfully, even though these aren't an invisible or burrowed unit, I feel like Phoenix is the most stylish way to finish this game. Vormant, sticking true to his colors, is like, fuck yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Meanwhile, Haku's like, you know what is the most solid army composition? It's just four infestors. Like, is he going to... Oh, no. He's, he's trying to do the Destiny Bro Fester hit squad. No fucking way. It's with a slow overlord as well. He's going to be the slowest drop of all time. Into three... Five Stargate Phoenix. Oh, the comedy. In comes two DTs, by the way. Douche Templar living up to their name. No, they're going to go for the Queen before going for the Hatchery. We've got two DTs here. Do we have one in the natural? No, we don't. But, oh, man, he's starting to take down this stuff. Morse and Archon, that's a little bit rando. Down here, he's like, all right, let's kill this spine. It's like, can you kill the Hatch sometime today? Come on, buddy. Hit it. Oh, my God, he's not going to get the Hatch. That's a little bit disappointing. Meanwhile, the Archon and the Spine Crawler are both having a like real fucking chest thumping battle over here. Back at home though, the Brofesta squad lands here. There's f four carriers in production next to it. What do you even do as Haku here? Um, the Phoenix are like, fuck you, mate. You can't just drop in my base. You can't do that, mate. Picks up an investor and starts to kill it. Uh, not even being microed because Haku's just getting his face torn off by Zealots and DTs. We've still got... Oh. Bunch of zealots in a corner, not quite a choke point, but zealots in a corner, still pretty useful, I guess. Two investors are just staring at him. They're trying to uh, intimidate Vormant into leaving the game. It's not quite working. These zealots down here taking a ton of damage. We've still got a warp prism in the top. And this hatchery is still super weak, but Haku's not taking any chances. He's like, I will just mass spines to keep that base alive. And here we go. More zealots across the map. Infested Terrans go down. Oh, shit. He just depowered all five Stargates. The Brofester hit squad gets the damage done. I think all the Infestors did actually end up dying there. But, oh, he's losing his Phoenix for it. He's going to try and repower these gateways, but the carrier transition has been stomped on there. Zealots down here fighting the Zerglings and Roaches. Haku struggling to keep up with the multi-prong harass. Vormant is tormenting Haku. Oh, shit. You know that moment where you try to rhyme something because you look at how it's spelt and then you, you say it out loud and you're like, Vormant and torment don't actually rhyme. They're just spelt similar. And you realize you just said something that actually sounds worse than nails on a chalkboard and you kind of want to tear your own face off. Yeah, we just had one of those moments right here. Good job, pig. Feel like a really funny guy right now, don't you? Where'd that warp prism go? Did it come back? Did the warp... We've got two warp prisms out. So we've got one there. It's powering the Stargates right now. This warp prism is just like a power prism, I swear. This one's just chilling here. But we've got carriers out now. So I think... Um, what do we got? We've got Spire and more Infestors on the way for Haku. Haku's like fucking struggling just to hang on to these four bases. Barely has any creep on the map and is like, well, I'm going to slow you down at least. And he's going to find, oh shit, that's an empty base. Vormit finally going to get a taste of his own medicine. These guys might not be invisible, but they are still going to fuck his shit up. Every single probe falls on that base, guys. That's, oh, that's like 30 probes in one go, basically. This single infest is still just chilling up here. Keeps throwing lone infested Terrans to try and depower the Stargates. That's not going to work. Um, don't know if there's any detection. Is there? Oh, yep. He killed that infest. And he's going to recall. He's going to recall. He's going to save the Nexus. No fracking way, man. Vormant here going to clean up all of these lings and roaches. 
We do have 12 Corruptors on the way though. And I gotta tell you guys, Corruptors absolutely wreck carriers. He's gonna go up to actually 20 Corruptors. They will one-shot carriers. So uh, as Vormant right now, you'd love to be building a ton of uh, Void Rays. He's getting some Plasma Shield upgrades to try and help out his uh, survivability. Only has plus one attack as well. Oh, he's gotta spot it. He's gotta spot it. He sees, oh, fucking Jellyfish, man. Whole shitload of Jellyfish. You gotta get out of there, Vormant. You, you can't find that, my dude. Oh, he's gonna go for this hatch that was weakened earlier in the game. At the same time, these carriers have fucking no sense of survivability. Man, this is Darwinism at its finest. I'm just saying, if a bunch of carrier pilots fly into 26 Corruptors, they never deserve to live in the first place. They get shattered. And the DTs and Zealots are finally gonna take out that hatch, but back at home, we got a big Infested Terran counterattack. That carrier also, survival of the fittest, guys. Vormant, Vormant's carrier is pretty stupid. I got his. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Loses the fifth and like five or six carriers here. And is it PP time? Do you need to do a little p PP hack? Haku's running around the map. He's got you know when the kid runs around with their hand on their crotch, and you look at them and say, "Do you need to go PP?" And they go, and they just kind of look at you earnestly and nod. That's this big fucking pack of jellyfish right here. But he says, oh wait, there's some seagulls. Let's chase those around the beach instead. He's like, oh, fucking seagulls. Starts snapping their wings off because apparently he's a much more agile, faster and athletically gifted child than we at first realized. But here we go. Do you need PP? You, you need PP. He needs to PP. All right, he's gonna unzip and unleash right now. That fleet beacon is gonna be fucking destroyed, man. There is piss everywhere right now. He's marking his territory like a big boy. And there we go. Zerglings coming into the third base at the same time. We've got DTs coming back to deal with it. Zerglings get in there, kill a couple of probes. Man, Vormant, he's been all over this game, but he's in trubs right now. The Corruptors, they've done a bit of their PP. They're coming back now. They're just going to chill, just kind of take in their surroundings. Vormant is building a lot of ground units. And that seems like it'd be really good against all these Corruptors that can't shoot down. But uh, we've got like six, six ground upgrades and Ultras on the way. Oh, I think he's got round two. He's been drinking so much soda today. Just way too many, oh, too many soft drinks, man. Too much, too much, too much fizzy drink. And uh, I think he's got a second round of pee in him. I think he's just waiting for the prime target right now. He's going to mark his territory really hard. Oh my god, there we go. Whoa, learn to observe pig. And uh, holy shit. Oh my god, like 20 of them all pissing on one nexus at once. It goes down almost instantly. The warp prism over here tried to do a bit of harass. Uh, Vormant trying to keep up some form of pressure, but Vormant's back down to three bases right now. He's in he's in pretty big trubs, my dudes. And we've got Archon, Zealots, Stalkers here. I think I think Vormant really only has one last push in him at this point. His mining is, is terrible. If you look at the income, um, we see with this fifth base getting established, I mean, Haku does need to transfer workers, but... Actually, no, he's, he's kind of used them all on static defense because of all these counterattacks, eh? But he is ahead in he is ahead in mining about six, seven hundred minerals and a thousand gas a minute. So Haku has way more income right now. I guess Haku just needs to pull off gas and put on minerals, actually. Oh, the corruptors! Oh no! These kids need to PP so badly. They've accidentally wandered into a fucking dark nightclub. There's strange men offering them weird substances and shit. They're like, here, have, have a sniff of this this snow powder here. These kids don't know where the fuck they are. Where are their parents? They're running around like, I just wanted to use the bathroom. They've wandered into some places they're not meant to be right now, and they're just getting murdered. A uh, few of them have been abducted. A uh, few of them took candy from strangers and stepped into the back of unmarked vans. And uh, there's only a few of them left. And at this point, there are some very, very scarred children. They will definitely need some uh, counseling after this one. Um, to be fair, though, that's why you don't go and piss on everybody else's property. Oh, no, they're going back in. These, oh, these corruptors have about as much, uh, you know, survival sense as those corrupt, uh, those carriers did earlier, man. And down on the bottom side of the map, we've got Zerglings, we've got Ultras. They're like, we're just going to fucking run in here and kill your shit, mate. DT me once, shame on me. DT me twice, fucking shame on me, I guess. And then D D DT me 476 times in a row simultaneously. And uh, I guess I'll just fucking counterattack you with Zerglings, mate. Here we go, Zerglings are going to try and continue running in. Those shield batteries did a great job there. Oh, they headbutt their way through. That zealot warped in in totally the wrong position. That was definitely not a Jim Diddy zealot right there. He was a... Oh, he was definitely not a Jim Diddy zealot, man. Jim Diddy would have held that choke point against all of these Counter-Strike players. Easy. Easy peasy. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Piss, piss! 
These corruptors, holy shit, man. How many how many buildings can you piss on in one game? We've got six more ultras on the way. I think Vormont's realizing he's deep in the doo-doo. He's starting to shovel poo with his bare hands right now, and he's like, this is not what I wanted from life, man. Two Immortals, three Archons, and a few Zealots. I don't know if that can deal with this many ultras. We've got six more ultras on the way. Vormont's played a pretty incredible game, but I think... He might finally be about to get overwhelmed. Yeah, he's coming in. Oh, it's going to be a sandwich, is it? Is it? Oh, he's got spine crawlers. He's starting to break through the spores, dealing with the void rate. Oh, God. Zerglings and Ultras starting to close in. Nice recall. Actually, lovely recall. Wow. Super impressed that he did that. So i got to get better at recalling, guys. I, I fucking suck at recall. I, like, never use that spell. I, like, use a recall in, like, 1 in 16, 1 in 16 games. I'm actually just a terrible Protoss player, I swear. That's probably the reason I, like, throw so many games. Um, not enough recall usage. Not enough, uh, not enough pressure on the map. Vormont, down a casual 70 supply, is like, you know what? Let's restart a fourth base for the 26th time in a row, and let's hope the Corruptors don't piss on it. At the same time, War Prism's down here in the bottom side of the map. Uh, mass Infestors on the way. Ton of upgrades, and I think it's only a matter of time till Haku... Uh, Haku manages to close this game out. We've got Storm on the way. More High Templar are going to be warping in as well. I mean, if you get enough Immortals, Archons, and High Templar, that can that can definitely wreck this army. When you're looking at this Ultra count, we need like 10 Immortals, maybe even 12 Immortals. Like you need you need the sickest count. How many have we got? We got one Immortal, and everyone's like, "Don't worry, Gary, you've got bonus to Armored. You can take him on." He's like, "Guys, I'm." I'm not so sure. I think we probably need to invest in a few more models. And they're like, nah, we'll make some more stalkers. Stalkers have more damage in this patch. It's like, yeah, not enough though. When you're dealing with that many ultras, are we going to have fucking plus three melee, plus four carapace? Eh, probably not the best idea. Probably want to build a few models. Okay, he's going to go Void Rays, which, um, I mean, they get dicked by infested Terrans. So I think this may be part three, the dickening. Um, Protoss trying to build mid-tier units versus mass fucking Ultra and Festa. Don't know if it's going to go too well. And, uh, oh man, he's even got the Piss Squad coming in at the same time. Every single time Vormont moves away, in comes some fucking urine on his property. He's like, can you stop pissing on my stuff, mate? Fungal comes in from the rear. Mass Infested Terran's going down in the back. Ultra's trying to come down the ramp, but only two Ultras at a time, actually. Those Ultras do end up falling, but there's just too many Infested Terrans. Free units galore. Remember, guys, if you ever lose a game to free units, it's because the game's broken. Because those are free, and that's something you're allowed to complain about. Uh, Infested Terran's only costing energy. Completely unfair game mechanic. Void Rays rallying into their death. Uh, as I said before, not really sure if that was the right response to the situation. Oh, these poor fat boys, they can't even get back to safety. The Archons can't fit through the gap there. And at the moment, um, this isn't really Zealots holding a choke versus Zerglings. This is just a couple of fucking... Piss week, piss week League of Legends players over here, up against about 400 fucking, I don't know, I don't know, these Call of Duty, these are Call of Duty players for sure. They're all like, fuck you, your mum's a faggot, I fucked your mum last night, ha, huh? and these guys are like, oh god, there's like, these Call of Duty players are fucking feral, they just tap out, they just run away, because honestly, no one wants to fuck with Call of Duty players, they've got nothing to lose, they play Call of Duty, so unfortunately... You know, if you, if you play Call of Duty professionally, I mean, there's only so much lower you can go than that. Um, League of Legends players have to tap out in the end there. Good play from Vormont. Brought the, uh, now you see me, now you don't. Mass invisible harassment. Didn't win in the end, but it was a pretty fucking good first game, wasn't it, eh? <laughs> hey, Modded Monk says, it's not even 8 a.m. in Australia, man. Why are you awake? I'm still drunk from last night. How you going, Mudded Monk? You realize it's Tuesday. You realize it's Tuesday, right? It's Saturday was like three days ago, Mudded Monk. I don't know what you've been up to, mate. Might need to lay off the Monday night goon bag. Just a, a slight life life suggestion there. Free life coaching with Pig. If you want to get more guys, just send me $4,000, social security number and banking details, and I will charge the ongoing fee of $3,999 per week. And uh, I'll get you on track with your life. It's uh, some good shit. And holy crap, Doomby! Is this real Doomby? Is Doomby? Is Doomby playing StarCraft 